Hello everybody, welcome to Digital Painting and Photography channel. This is Toshiyagi from beautiful little island, Okinawa, Japan. I'm a photographer and shot this image for a long time ago. Two and a quarter, reverse of gum, fashion shot. And uh, actually I made this, scanned this data, made illustration type image a couple times last year. Mm, two years ago or so, and uh, this time, well, I got, uh, I made this base image to black and white image. Then I see AI colored from this black and white image to this. Look at this image compared to this original image. Such a big difference, huh? This more like a fashion shot, huh? Color wise, interesting. That's nice. And also, I made this pencil drawing type image by Adobe Photoshop. Used filter called Find Edges. So today, my subject is AI colored neural filter to make this color image with this pencil drawing type image. Well. We got to this black and white image as well, and uh, original image. I don't know I'm going to use these um, base images. Basically, this AI color is the base image to find out something interesting image, creative image. Well, let's get started. All right, uh, turn on this pencil drawing type image and uh, let me see, change blend mode over this AI colored real nice hmm pretty fashionable colored image let me see very nice huh interesting overlay hmm interesting uh, let me see some illustration type of image, pin light effect, yeah, pretty nice, pastel colors, okay, let me see, well, luminosity, opacity about half, luminosity or pin light, okay, I like this pin light image, the tone of pencil drawing type image and the pastel colors. I'm gonna saturation up a little bit after this, fix this image. This is nice, 55. Okay, make group and uh, duplicate this group. Now flatten the image, uh, flatten this image. All right, pin light effect image, pretty nice. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, now let's see about change this pencil drawing type image. Hmm, pretty much contrast. Well, about this overlay effect image. Let me try fix this image, then uh, change blend mode to color to get information, color information over this pin light effect image. This saddle tone, though pretty interesting image, I think. All right, now this overlay effect image. Okay, duplicate this group, then flatten this image again, and uh, see, move this overlay effect image over pin light effect image. Then change blend mode to color. I uh, mean the color. Mmm, so much. Very nice. I like that. Look at this saturation. That's really interesting, huh? Pretty nice. Alright. Now we got the base image. Okay, turn off these other layers and uh, let me see about this. We got the nice pencil drawing type image 
and nice colors. That's nice. Okay. Add white. Um, let's see. Add white layer over this. Okay. Fill this layer with white. Then I add mask. Now, reveal this white layer with texture is drawing to evolve. Okay, big size. Okay, pretty much. All right. Now I'm going to add. Let me see. Okay, I want to add, all right, duplicate then one of this overlay effect image. Move. Okay, change, change blend mode back to normal. I'm thinking about what if show model's face a little bit more dark than density from this overlay effect image. It doesn't have much density, but uh, smooth skin tones and stuff. So maybe change blend mode to darken over this illustration type image. So using two overlay effect image. All right, let me try that. Okay, overlay effect image change to darken and uh, make mask. Now invert this mask. Then I'm gonna reveal this with textures evolve. That's pretty neat brush texture. Like pencil rough pencil drawing type image. Alright, reveal this. Okay, so far, just leave it this way and uh, I'm gonna fix later more details. Okay, now let me see, check. Check, um, I'm gonna add color, gradation color over this. Okay, over this white layer, very top. At layer, this is gonna be paint gradation colors. Then I add mask. Invert this mask. I'm gonna make a window with the evolve texture brush. Okay. Now evolve. Now think about the shape of the brush. Okay, then paint color with the Airbrushing to soft brush on this gradation color layer. Okay, same. This window now, add color. I'm going to fix this window shape. Change some colors. Maybe erase. Okay, and uh, add some colors. Brush is soft. Okay. 
Now I'm going to add another window. Add color. Okay, pretty much. Now I'm gonna touch up overall image. Maybe this mask on. Okay, I want to add some colors over this, under this white, white layer. Just paint color, just soft touch, so... Models make up. Well, almost, almost done. Okay, now I'm gonna move this pencil drawing type image. Get out of this group and uh, just move up under under white layer. Change blend mode to let me see color burn. So darken colors. Maybe about fifty percent. Touch more sharpening image, huh? Dark on colors. Alright, I guess almost done. I'm gonna look back. Alright, from here, starting point. Okay, this is the original shot, and uh, I used Adobe Photoshop Neural Filter AI Colorization to get this color image from this original image to this AI color image. More colorful and pretty fashionable look image. Then I add um, pencil drawing type image change to blend mode pin light to get this illustration type image as a base and uh, I add on this pin light effect image I add overlay effect on um, pencil drawing type image to get some color and I add change to blend mode color to add on this illustration type image to get this, this image. Pretty colorful, isn't it? Then about the model's face and stuff, add overlay same overlay effect image with mask on this image is this to darken without mask with mask that's how I add overlay effect image to darken some part of this image this is the base image and uh, I add white layer with mask white layer with mask to get this image then add color gradation color with mask is this much several colors well actually I painted this much color with mask to get this texture of um, brush texture is evolve 
and uh, I earn some pencil drawing type image color burn to get touch darken and also paint color on model's skin tone and hair color some to get this image that's about it for today's result well thank you for watching my video and uh, I really appreciate for you guys support and I hope you can find some idea for your creative work and uh, well see you next time you guys have a nice day see ya ciao bye now good day